Hey guys, happy Thursday. Check all of those guys out. I uh, did a 50% water change yesterday. And I don't see any damage on the parents yet uh, from the kids. My guess is if the kids start hurting them, they're big enough to take care of themselves. And getting ready to put some uh, black worm in there. Uh, everybody ask about the the baby German rams. They're in here. There's a few in here swimming around. Uh, you can see them in the top of the screen there. I don't know how many I have in here. Uh, I'm just basically uh, putting in the baby brine shrimp. And then hoping they find it. So, not ideal. Uh, hopefully, if they get big enough, I can move them to the 33 and raise them, grow them out with the discus. As insane as that sounds. Uh, they do keep the same temps and they're kind of from the same area, so uh, it is doable, technically on paper, anyway. Um, still having allergy issues. My, my lights are old, so these lights are. Uh, two years old and when your lights get old or you don't have enough adequate lighting then you get algae which is kind of what you see look you can see it right see some of that algae right in there so the, just, just a heads up and it's always something um, but I haven't really been dosing doing any of the Excel. I've just really been focused on uh, baby fish, and these guys are all want me to feed them, as well as uh, these guys here. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you, for those that might have missed it yesterday, I've got a treat for them. I've got this right here, some uh, black worm. I'm going to put some of that. Let me see if I can, sorry for all the glare and shaking, Let's see if I can get some of this in here, like so, and that should hopefully get them over here to eat, and now that they know what it is, they hit it pretty quick. And I just think it's uh, good to mix it up. So I'm giving them a frozen blood worm, uh, the frozen beef heart, uh, this. And then usually in the mornings I start with kind of a breakfast cereal. And I'm using the uh, Cobalt Aquatics Discus Flake. I'll show you guys that really quick. I'm using... Uh, this is a really good flake, high end. I'm using this right here. So, uh, feeding that, to, and that's what I'm doing for both tanks. So, but I'm, I got too many black worms yesterday, and they don't really keep well. And technically, uh, you're supposed to keep them in a cool place, like your refrigerator. And uh, my wife's going to be unhappy with me if. She looks in the refrigerator and finds a bunch of worms. So, but just to show you how well this works. And I was really surprised, watch this, the, the Beckford pencil fish really go to town here. Watch this. All right, so I'm going to drop in. So look, they're really going for it. Everybody does. And these guys are actually moving, and they'll dig into the substrate if they can. But you can see everybody's, I just think it's nice to give them, mix it up some. So, and I didn't really get the small fish in there, but 
kind of fun to watch the uh, the smaller ones. See if this gets them. Yeah, see the Beckford pencil fish zip in there. I was surprised how these guys just suck it down like a big noodle. I don't know if you saw that guy zip in there and get it. See somebody gets that one. You see he's got one. But uh, the neons too. So that's a neat little food. Uh, hitting the five minute mark. Need to wrap it up. And then uh, putting in the Hikari frozen brine shrimp. Uh, over here, uh, it's freezing, or sorry, it was frozen, thawing that out right now, and I'll put a few drops in that throughout the day, but uh, you guys be good, thanks for watching, happy Thursday, later.